welcome everybody to episode 3. We missed it just a bit, you know, dragon mine some laggings. A sword, Shaggy got a diamond sword, Zane found diamonds, Essen found diamonds, and Zane found diamonds. I decided to go for the bathroom for a little. Let's keep watching as Arctic. <laughs> He's gonna be digging for a while. I feel bad for this guy. He not only missed some diamonds, but now he's going to be strip mining for a good bunch of blocks. Well, let's keep watching. Let's do our, like, general, like, rotation of players. We got James the Douglas doing very well. Captain, who's keeping the helmet, and has been strip mining for a pretty long distance. Rebel getting some caving action. Arctic, uh, for our... Oh, Shaky's in the uh, mineshaft situation. Okay, Spider Spawner could end up badly, but hopefully it does not. We have Nick. Nick, who just found diamonds. Let's go, Nick. Oh, Foss is enchanting with Blue Sparks. Blue Sparks did end up making its full diamond. Oh, and here is Plushy as well. They've, they're getting their Yugi Moto team. They're doing their moves. They're getting their first locator pieces. They're going to do great. There's no one near them. They're getting their enchants. They're doing good. Nick Zana's making a diamond chest plate thanks to that. Let's go, Nick. Boss here enchanting, like I said. EGL going back up. I mean, fair enough. Look how long the guy's been spec has been chip mining. It's been like 10 plus. And he would keep going for a while. So that's a good thing to do. Blue Sparks makes an anvil. Let's go. Sergeant Am. Bro Odator. They're exploring. Sergeant Am already enchanted, which is very nice. Go Kaiba team. Michael plays MC, getting some gold. So I like having some nice, good job strip mining. This team doing great together. GL going up, as I said. Oh, I still need to. Okay. Alyssa. Caving. Go, Alyssa. You're still at 100. Go. But not much luck finding that. Oh! You know, you know, you know, you know Nick, you're, you're my witness. I didn't jinx it at all. I didn't just say that she's still at 100 and then she took damage. I, I could never do something like that. We still got some people left in the rain for Iron Man. In the rain, in the race. And if Arctic keeps on strip mining, I'm sure he'll win. <laughs> because he's not going to find anything that can hurt him. Blue Sparks, all of it getting enchanted, getting extra protection. Zane, the Merrick team, you guys are doing not so great of a job at seeing the future. Well, let's see what happens. And we got Dargan, who's on the surface now. I wonder if his team has anything planned. Let's focus on his team. Psylocke, he's down here. Asmund's here. Just found some diamonds. Go, Asmund, go. Go, Asmund, go. Very good. Boss making a bow. Pretty useful, gotta say. Nick's enchanting with Alyssa. That's so awesome. And AGL just staying on surface. I wonder if he's going to them. If he is, he's gonna be. All, he's gonna. It's gonna take him a while. But okay. As we spectate everyone else, I think it's about time we talk about what clearly everyone's minds is on. Is one, what am I doing here? And two, why am I a spectator? I know you've been asking that for free episodes now. And if you haven't, then you should be. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright, so what happened here was simple. You see, I saw the first season come out and it's like a UHC about Yu-Gi-Oh! Heck yeah, I want it. So then they made applications. And I applied. And you know, I am here. So you know I at least got, a, got in the Discord for this. And I did. But turns out, I'm just a spectator. I am. The, oh, look, I'm. Oh, look, some, some diamonds. He feeds James the ducks. And I basically got told, yo, you don't, you don't fit very well in the round. But you want to be a spectator, you can be the permanent spectator. And I'm like, heck yes! I always knew my spectating career would shine eventually. I was always made to be an amazing commentator that doesn't get stressed out in mining and UHC. I come up. 
DDP and stuff like that. It's stress spectating. I get to laugh at people. It's so much fun. <laughs> okay, it isn't exactly that much fun, but you know, there's some good things in just being able to freely commentate and see what everyone's stuff is and things like that, and not having to worry about how you're doing. Like, Captain, good luck, buddy. I still believe in you. What's Arctic going? Is the real strip? Uh, oh, Arctic, oh, Arctic, Arctic, Arctic. Holy crap, Arctic's gonna find diamonds. Okay, we, we, we're gonna stick with Arctic for the rest of the story. It's like, we need to see him find those diamonds, okay? This man has been strip mining for far too long. He needs to find a cave. He's missed out on the entire mine shaft. He needs to find the diamonds. So we're just going to stand here and let something more interesting happen while well, I still, well, you know, I tell the story. So basically, I get in, they tell me, yo, you want to be a spec? Yeah, and me goes like, yay. Of course I wanted to play, but you know, just being a spec is better than nothing. And then I get onto this, and you know, if you use Discord before, there's this nice little thing on Discord called message history and if you go to a channel and you like type for like a certain word or something it'll tell you everyone every time like that word has been said right yeah yeah so you know i want to see what people oh my god shaky what the heck tp it's shaky you know what no we're gonna watch art this is just too much of a momentous occasion <laughs> for how long arctic spin strip mining but honestly, if shaky has got these many diamonds, and so does James, heck yeah, go Joey Wheeler team! The team that's like born of luck. <laughs> Where you either get amazing amounts of luck, or really bad amounts of luck. <laughs> this team is Joey in a nutshell. Oh my god, Shaky is doing really amazing. Let's look at Shaky. Yeah, Shaky is also full diamond. He's got the enchant of the team. MC, it's Shaky. Oh my god, he's got 18 diamonds extra? Yeah, they're all going to be full diamond on the team. That I'm very happy for them. Go in, team. Go in, Joey Wheeler. Plus, I want Joey Wheeler to win. He's an underdog. And, like, in terms of BP, this team's a pretty big underdog. You got Arctic and James, and then you got Shaky that's from Australia. So his ping is, you know, two days from now. So this team wins. Of course it's the big underdog history. We all want this team to win. But yeah, let's keep going with this story because you can pretty much tell how it's gonna go. Hi, James. How's it going? Captain keeps going with his chain helmet. I have no idea what's on it. You're gonna have to watch his footage to find out. So yeah, obviously, I search out my name because I wanted to figure out what happened that made me become a spectator. So you see, I look at my name. And I basically got told that, I, you know, there's a big chat about me. There's like, there's like, okay, I don't know how many messages there are with my name, you know, like, actually, let's check right now. I can spell my name prop. 30 free results. Let's go. There's 30 free results of people typing my name. And I haven't been here for that long. Hey, Arctic Bud for Diamonds. I'm brooding for this team so much. It, Nick, plus the Yugi team. The Yugi team is also doing very amazing. The Kaiba team, not so much. You know, bro, bro Dater, I, I was expecting more from your team. Just saying. You, you guys gotta do better. Okay? You've got it. Okay, Bro Dater's got a chest, but they still got it. They got a nice little village and everything here. Like, they're enchanting. They're doing well. Like, continuing with that. And there's basically like a list of like all the people that apply. Apparently my application was off. I, I don't know how to apply from what I got told. Uh, and because of that, I am no longer applying for anything ever again. <laughs> because apparently I don't know how to apply. Oh well. And then I also get told that, you know, to be fair, I, I do have some length, <laughs> because in the in the application, like they asked you how like how you would 
fit the round and stuff like that, and like how you would help engage the Yu-Gi-Oh theme or something like that is one of the questions. And I'd basically be like, yo, I got this. Remember how in Battle City, Bakura waited until the last day, and the guy like got all the located cards at once and like got to the finals? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mine the entire game, play like Bakura, and show up at the very end. Maybe it wasn't the best idea for me to say that. <laughs> Even though that's exactly what I do. I do that like every round unless teammates want me to go up to surface. Dargan, what, what, what? How did you take that much damage? Where did you? Oh, wow. Okay. Bakura team making some Bakura decisions. I don't know why he's climbing up this much. I don't know. I just know that being here is a much less laggy, and oh my god, Captain's about to strip mine for longer than Arctic. <laughs> oh my god, when is there even a cave? When? Oh my god, Captain. <laughs> oh, Captain's gonna have a fun time. <laughs> Captain's gonna have a fun time. <laughs> You see, this is why this team is the Merrick team and why Captain is simply a Shizu. He's predicting everything and he's getting extremely wrong. He's going to be digging, digging for like 200 more blocks before he finds the cave. Uh, this, this sucks. Poor Captain. But hey, we can watch this for entertainment <laughs> while we continue the story. So basically, you know, that keeps going. And, like, they basically say, they're like, yes, I'm at least knowledgeable about the round. I'm knowledgeable about Yu-Gi-Oh. I seem to care. That's a good thing. But I also, but then some people straight up say that I ruin rats. <laughs> and I look and they're like, ah, well, oh well. <laughs> I guess I ruin rounds entirely by my presence. Just saying, I'm an amazing round ruiner. <laughs> So they basically say that I cannot be a part of this roster at all because I'll, I'll be a sweaty tryhard. Of course I will. I'm not I'm not denying. They're absolutely right in everything they say. I'm not playing victim. I'm just trying to make comedy out of this because it is funny. And I do agree with everything they say. And I'm perfectly happy being a spectator. Like, come on, this is pretty enjoyable. And, you know, I'm totally not here just because of the art. No, I'm kidding. I'm here because I like you here. And around about Yu-Gi-Oh is fun, and I want to see what they do for season three and four and five and six and GX and five Ds and Sexo and our five. You know the the whole shebang. I want to see the whole shebang. Oh, Boston Fleshy. Let's go. See. Oh wait, they're in the same team. Uh, okay. Oh wait, is this the place where like uh, Bro Data War? Oh, it is. All right, let's watch this. Let's watch how this goes. I can't believe they found each other here. That's, uh, that's a pretty nice place to like find each other. Okay, Brodator is running towards the team. I don't think Boss is chasing that. Oh, Rebel. Got his bow out, but dude, that's that's your teammate. That's fine, Rebel. You're okay. I wonder if they're going to fight this. They see each other again. It's a 2v2 situation. But I, I think they're too stacked. Are we going to see Kaiba versus Yugi this early on? Like, this be a pretty early thing for a pretty early time for, like, Kaiba and Yugi to fight. Nice armor, boss. Nice bow, Brody. <laughs> What's Brody's bow? Let's see if I can see it. MC, Brodator. Oh, it's just a power two. He's got ten golden apples! What? Okay. They actually would do it. I don't know. MC Fast. Seven. Okay, actually, it'd be pretty close. We both have the same bow. Everyone's mining pretty well in terms of gold, I guess. Are they going to chase? I guess they maybe would, but I think they lost them. So it doesn't look like they're chasing, but it's good to stay around for now. What's Blue Sparks doing? Because, you know, that's definitely... He's pretty integral to the team. Ah, oh, he's just gaming. He's just like, yeah, screw you guys. You guys do your own fight. Fair enough. 
I'd say that's pretty thin. And so basically, you know, they didn't want to let me in the round. Until my lord and savior, Bowfish Kicks, you know, he's the best. Not totally not, just because he got me in here. He's got me like so many rounds so far. What the heck? Blue Sparks got the stuff that like, uh, Rebel have? Oh, that does explain it. They're in some sort of the same case. Does explain why they're so close. They're still on surface, so I do wonder if they'll find each other. Blue Spark takes some suffocation to gravel. You guys have got to go back to caving before meeting people. You can't just go expect to win with, you know, the lion. Come on, Kaiba team. Just because you have an obelisk on your team doesn't mean you get to, you can do everything on your own. Shaky finding more to, Oh. You know, I, I like how Shaky accused James of x -train. And then we see James here with 46 diamonds mine. James is insane. Anyone need full diamonds? <laughs> I mean, there's more diamonds here. There's more diamonds there. There's more diamonds there. There's more diamonds there. <laughs> this team, Joey Wheeler team, captain making an enchant table. Let's go! Captain finally did it. I didn't check the whole thing because I was looking. But he, did he actually strip mine the entire way? Oh my god. <laughs> he has strip mine the entire way. This is amazing. He's almost here. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of Captain. Oh my god. Shaky, stop. Shaky, stop the world. So when you said you were be you were gonna be me, I didn't think you'd meant it like this. <laughs> Twenty nights there. Not free. That free. <laughs> Make manual property with that. Hell yeah. <laughs> James is on surface. I wonder where he's headed. Oh, there's some cool structures. But keep going with the story. Because this is episode of story time. I got nothing else to do. Because, like, the fights aren't happening yet. We're only, like, episode three. So, like... Uh, they basically like say like bow uh, bowfish shaves my butt and is like just let her spec. And so he's like, she's never gonna want us back. Since when does Vanessa spec games? Never. Like why would she be in a round where she's not getting put free because she can't even play? And bowfish is just like, trust me, I got this. I have I have technobladed this whole thing. I'm developed a psychological profile. Yeah, I stole this from the Potato War video. It was a good quote. Okay. Oh, James has seen somebody. Is that Brodator? Oh my god! <laughs> Brodator is just ran up to James, ran up to Foss. How is this area somehow like the world's biggest population? And that's gonna be the end of episode 3. Well, that's just finishing the story so I can keep it in this episode. So basically, Tay sends. The end of the story is basically that. Tay sends me an invite, and yeah, now I've become the permanent UH Gio spectator, and that's how we are here. And then Bofish told me basically what I had to do when I was spectating, and blah blah blah, blah now we're here. See you guys in episode.